So that's an important one to keep in mind. Um, when it comes to how you are going to be communicating, as I've been touching on for a bit now, so I said you will have SMS, okay? So you will have SMS communication or text messages. Um, and again, very easy to create. So if I go to my text message, it's giving me a little preview here. Um, I can choose the sender. So who am I sending this from, which you will set up. I can choose my message. What compliance profile am I using? So am I very strict? Do I have certain things that I set up just for SMS that need to be used or is it my default? Okay, so default is by default set, but if you change that, it won't be. Um, and then what is the purpose for sending this out? So this is quite nice because this is available, this purpose is available for you to use with your SMS um, push notifications and with your emails, meaning if you had something that was transactional, like your bill is due in two months or your financial advisor has been trying to reach you, uh, you can send that out without somebody having opted in. But it's it's up to you. You have to say then this is transactional communication, right? So it's it's to do with the business and this is a client and we can send that out. Okay. But again, what you're seeing here, most of it uh, is uh, it's drag and drop. It's previewed for you so you can see what's it going to look like before it comes out. And I can also ask the system to do some checks for me. So validate that this is viable. Um, and in this case, it's obviously not even if I say send, it's not going to send because I don't have senders set up and I've not set up with an actual service. Uh, but what it will do then is it will if you had said, for example, click here and there's no link, it might flag that for you to say, you you know, there's there's an error in the text message. Um, I like to say to people always have an internal test list, which now it used to be just have an email test list, uh, but now it would also be have a test list for push notifications, have a test list of your, you know, your marketing team for SMS messages. So while you're getting used to the system, you can actually really send it, not just view the, you know, this is a preview, uh, but do an actual send and get used to how things are going to look on the other side when you are changing things here. Okay, so this is your text messages. It's the same for push notifications. Okay, so you can set those up as well after you have actually connected an um, application that you want to use. And again, it's telling you this is what it will look like. So it's very similar to your text messages. 